If you have ever had to add a large number of tasks in Rally one by one, you know how time consuming that can be. But there is a better way. In this video, I will show you how to bulk add tasks in Rally, saving your tons of time and effort. Let's dive right in. Welcome to Ragurku.com. I'm Deepak Rai and let's jump right to see how to create bulk task in seconds. If you are working on any task creations, normally creating these tasks one by one will consume a lot of your time and effort. But in this video, I will show you a quickest way where we can create tasks very quickly. For that, we have to navigate it to the user story. From here, you can see all the tasks which is created or user story which is created here. Let's consider I want to add some tasks within this user story. But creating one by one take my lot of efforts and time. So here I will do with the help of bulk create. How we can do it? Let's see it. In the task creations you can see here you can create one by one on just clicking add new task and you have to provide the details and click on create for one instance or twice instance it's easier but what if i have to add hundreds of tasks within one user story in that case better to use bulk operation for using that we will have to click on import task and from here you can download the templates once you click on import templates you will get excel file or csv file like this which contains the informations about each of the fields what you have to mention it now for this these are the fields which is available for me how we can edit it i will show you here first we have to add our owner name then user story in which user story you wanted to add those tasks we'll add it here we'll add new task for developer or I will just add dev simply will copy and paste same thing here but if you have anything else which you wanted to mention in descriptions or in the name definitely you can decide it now let's go ahead with one by one let's consider the estimates I wanted to provide as two here we'll add two and one for the tester to do yes this is to do task so one owner name the person who is going to create this task so here we'll add the owner name now product work product we are going to work on user story 16 user story 16 descriptions whatever descriptions you wanted to add here and here i will add qa ai assisted true expedited is true display color whichever display color you're looking for to be visible as an icon you can use it and this display color is exactly same color which we will have it here first let's create it then i will explain you each of the fields where it looks now name what is the actual name you are going to use it here we'll add instead of dev i will add qa and in next column we'll add as UAT. ready yes it's ready that's the reason i added here true state is defined actual is one blocked true but if it is not blocked you can mark it as false block reason whatever is the reason if you are selecting true then you have to provide the reason as well and notes if any now i will copy the same thing for the uat as well here rest all piece of informations i will keep it same now we'll just change description and title maybe i will add one more that is for deployment and here we'll add as deployment now these are the fields which i wanted to upload it here we'll save it and close the excel when i will click on this options it will ask me to choose this file we'll select these files click on open and click on import this will take few seconds and then 
my all the tasks which I have added into the CSV is available here. Now, when I will go back to the Excel, let me explain you why and where any fields matter, how any fields matter. So here, the task ID is created by default. This is the name, whatever name you have provided, right? Here, these names are visible. So these are the names which you can see it in this. States, this is defined. If you want, you can change the state. Instead of define, you can mark it as in progress or complete. You can select any of those fields. Owner, based on your email ID, the owner will be created. Projects, it will take by default because right now we are under one project. To do, yes, here you can see it's to do status. So that season, it marked as this one. And along with this, once you'll open, you will see this is the color code. So whatever color codes you will define, that will be visible. As of now, we have selected blocked. So that's the reason you can see this is blocked. If you want, you can uncheck it. This will become unblock. If you will add the block status as true, then definitely you have to add as reason. You can see when I unblocked it, there's a no reason required for this field. So this is how we can create task in bulk, which makes our life easier when we have plenty of tasks to be added in one user story. So this is the easiest way by using CSV files, we can easily import it. So that's all from this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more time saving tips and in-depth guides on Rally and other agile tools. Your support really helps the channel to grow and reach more people. Now, I wanted to hear from you. How do you currently manage adding tasks in Rally? Have you tried the bulk add features or do you still prefer adding tasks one by one? Let me know in the comments below and feel free to ask any questions. I'm always here to help you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in further video.